the distillery stud trophy for leading chase mare is the final racing award of the evening which this year is being given out to the leading chase mare obviously does what it says on the tin and our thanks go to robert robinson who's been a great supporter of this evening for his sponsorship and it's a it's a super trio as well again the three nominees are Lady Buttons by Beneficial out of Lady Chap, trained by Phil Kirby for breeders Keith and Jane Simmels. Molly Rabanry uh, by King's Theatre out of La Marianne, trained by Dan Skelton for John Hales and John Diver and bred by Don Head Stud. And Robin De Carlo by Robin Deschamps out of La Reine de Ria, trained by Willie Mullins for the Catcher If You Can Syndicate and bred by Brian Griffith and John Nicholson. And the winner of this award, and it's not the first time she's been garlanded on this evening, is Lady Buttons by Beneficial Out of Lady Chaff, owned and bred by Keith and Jane Sibbles. What an amazing mare she is. Eight wins from 21 starts over hurdles, five wins from seven steeplechase starts, officially rated 150 in both disciplines, and won what was probably the best mare's only steeplechase run in Great Britain ever at Doncaster when she beat Happy Diva La Bagavoir and Casablanca mixed, and she did so handsomely as well. Add that to her listed victory over hurdles at Weatherby. And it was another amazing and amazingly versatile season. And I'm hoping that Keith and Jane are going to join me now to talk about her extraordinary exploits and what might be upcoming for Lady Buttons, who's one of the most popular horses in training. And I think her popularity only became more... Um, pronounced during the last National Hunt campaign and a shame that she wasn't able to run one or two more times. And look at that wall of honour behind Jane Sibbles. Is every single one of those Lady B, Jane? Oh, you're still muted. Hang on, hang on. Let's just, uh, let's just get you, let's just get you full voice and then, uh, and then we'll be able to hear you. Just a little um, red microphone there down the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. There we go. Right, we've, got you. we've got you. Well done, Jane. I was just saying, all those pictures behind you, are they all Lady Buttons? Not all Lady Buttons, no. We, I have, In the conservatory, every time we have a winner from day one, I just have a picture at the back, but a lot of them are Lady Buttons. I think 15. Oh, that's just, just tremendous. She's just been such a wonderful man. We seem to speak every year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm year. getting quite a collection now. I think, well... Am I asking too much to think she could come, come around and do it all again? And every year she comes out and she almost gets better still. It's, it's remarkable what she's achieved. Last year we thought we were going to retire her, but she had such a good season and we were hoping to go to Aintree. But obviously with COVID that didn't happen. Uh, so we thought we'll just give her another try this season. If she tells us that she's had enough, well, so be it. She owes us nothing. But um, we're heading for Weatherby on the, I think it's the 31st of October. First race. Is that and the same race you won last year? Yes, it is, yeah. And then, and then to, to Doncaster between Christmas and New Year and Doncaster again at the end of January there. The plan's up to now. So is it hurdle, hurdle? Is that hurdle, hurdle, chase or hurdle, chase, hurdle? It's something like that. Hurdle, isn't it? Yeah, hurdle, chase, hurdle, I think, yeah. Like yeah. If there was, I mean, you've won pretty much every good mayor's race there is going outside the Cheltenham Festival. If there's, if there's one race you think might be made for her couldn't it be the the mayor's chase the new mayor's chase at the yeah um, at, at Chel uh, we, we've come to the conclusion probably that Cheltenham doesn't suit her entry suits are better with a flatter track but I think it's quite tempting that two miles at, at Cheltenham for the mayor's yeah maybe I don't know if it's come a little bit late for her but we'll we'll see how she is up to there and just make decisions as we go along because uh, she owes us nothing and she's got another job to do when she's finished racing as well. Yeah, and that's going to be a pretty important job for her as well. And I mean, you bred her, which obviously gives you, you twice twice the pleasure. Yeah, that's right. It's like Doug said earlier with Honeysuckle, you're living the dream. We never, ever thought at our level that we'd, we'd have a horse like her. Just never, ever. And the, the following that she's got, like the people's horse, everybody knows about I, I own the village pub and I was in there on Sunday at work and this lady and gentleman came in and said we've called here at the Tiger because we've seen it on the telly and the owner of Lady Buttons as the pub and they'd called on, on the off chance that we'd be there and it, it's things like that you just you know it, it's beyond imagination 
And she's she's had a good break. Has she? She's enjoyed it. She does she yeah. does she she's rest come, well or does she? Rest, yeah, rested well. Um, come back as good as ever. Phil's really pleased with her. Keith was up at the yard today. Said she looks absolutely magnificent. She's in as good a form as ever at, at home. So touch wood that she'll take it to the track again. Well, that's fantastic to hear, Jane. And many congratulations again. She's a wonderful mare. She's a great credit to you. And it's super to hear that she's she's rolling around to delight us all one more time. Roll on Weatherby at the end of October. Yeah. <laughs> the scarves will be out in force, no doubt. <laughs> great stuff. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Jane Civil, who with Thanks, husband Nathan. Keith owns and bred, of course, Lady Buttons, one of the most popular horses in training.